welcome to another up close video. Today's one is for Tonic Stamp Club number 14, which is called Hey Snow Me, and it's another gorgeous Christmas themed stamp and coordinating die set. Um, and you might be thinking that style looks kind of familiar. I think it is the same person that draws all of the stamp clubs, but um, this style in particular was really reminding me of the penguins that came out recently. So there was this penguin die and stamp set which came out in their um, birthday celebrations and it was called Snow Much Fun this one so if uh, this one is available I'll link it below um, with this one as well and there'll be affiliate links below the video and also my blog as well um, so I'm not sure if it's still available but if it is I will link it below because I think that the style of these work really nicely together so you could add a robin in with the snowmen or you've also got loads of different penguins um, a little puddle or some um, a patch of ice and Santa's hats and things like that I think these will go really really nicely together and also you can um, mix and match the sentiments as well across the sets and then you've also got lots of dies too that I also think will coordinate nicely with the individual dies that are in this month's showcase um, and I think you'll be able to make a really nice scene together with lots of these different elements you can really sort of I don't know mix and match across them because you had a different arm in this set for your snowman and in this set you've got a skinnier arm so I think they'll really nicely cross pollinate and then talking of that I also think that showcase number 12 which you would have seen um, a couple of months ago which had these um, Christmas trees in it and it had the gorgeous Christmas tree stamp and like the little gingerbread man and stuff I think they would also coordinate really nicely because you've got like little presents in here as well and you've also got the smaller trees so you can do um, lots of perspective just with the trees as well um, so I thought I'd mention that too in case you're interested in that so that is showcase number 12 and also the snow much fun um, that came out in the birthday week as well but I will link them both below the video and hopefully they're still in stock if you want them or if you already have them because I know a lot of you collect all of the different things every month um, then I think this one will go really nicely with those ones if you if you do already have them so let's actually look at this month's um, stamp club Let's go with the stamp set first and then I'll show you the coordinating dies and then there are quite a lot of dies in here that are just standalone dies that you can create some characters with as well. So looking at the stamp set you have two beautiful stamps that's, that sort of jump out at you. Really gorgeous cute little snowmen. This is a lovely little trio so it can be like a little family or it could be um, a group of friends or any kind of relatives really it could be like grandparents and a grandchild so lots of different um ways that you could use that one and you could also um like personalize them to a specific person if somebody you know always loves wearing a top hat i know that's kind of like a, tradi a traditional thing that a snowman would wear but you could like you know make a pun out of you know that kind of thing as well and then you've also got a lovely scene of two snowmen um, with their arms in the air going down um on a sledge so you could maybe even like adapt this and make it look like a roller coaster i think that would be really cool because they do look like they're kind of on a roller coaster with their arms in the air but they're so sweet these little snowmen and you've got so many different ones to kind of choose from and they've made them all different so i mean these two are both wearing a bobble hat but the bobble hats are different you've got um the top hat the sort of um ladies kind of hat and then you've also got earmuffs on this one as well and there are lots of options within the dies um to create sort of die cut snowmen as well if you if you're not into your stamping and coloring so much or you want to make a completely different looking card or something or maybe you even want to um cut some of these dies from funky foam and make stamps and then you could like stamp um snowmen with their different characteristics and stuff on them i think that would be a cool idea then you also have two trees in here too you've got a larger tree and then a smaller tree they are actually different um i'm not sure if they would let no i think they are actually different i think they're both hand drawn differently um and they have slightly different sized tree trunks as well but they're great for building up a scene and adding perspective i found that two little trees a big tree and this little cluster was the perfect um amount to fill up a small sort of a6 a2 kind of size card or again um this one i actually used by itself and i heat embossed it in white onto a craft card with the sentiment above and below too and it looks really lovely so you could do a similar thing with this one or you could combine this one with a couple of trees and um you know like cut a really exaggerated slope going down down the card for them to be going at some 
um, nice gradient down the card as well. Then you have a few extra stamps like a couple of solid stars that are great for sort of building a background or you can add them on top of the trees as like the top um, decoration on the tree. Then you've also got five different snowflakes which again are really really useful. You do also have some beautiful snowflake dies in the die set and there is actually um, a couple of dies, could be three but I only use two of them to cut out some of the snowflakes as well. You have one that will cut this one out and I also cut this one out but I think it might also work for those two as well. So you've actually got options to cut the snowflakes out too because I was doing a card with these on and I thought well I've already gone all out die cutting all of these so I might as well die cut my snowflakes um, and add them on as well. So that's another way of um, adding snowflakes to a card, you don't necessarily have to stamp them straight onto the background, you can actually stamp and die cut them as well and then finally for the rest of the set is just all beautiful sentiments some of them are punny um, and some of them sort of mix and match together to create a longer sentiment as well so you've got sending warm holiday hugs chilling with my snow me's hey snow me can't wait to and then you can do chill with you this holiday season um, thank you so much. I'm so glad I get to chill with you this holiday season. Um, I wish I could chill with you this holiday season um, and you are so much fun. So you can really sort of mix and match across them to create um, sentiments that would go above and below a character or maybe even um, continue inside the card as well if you want to. So I think there's some really lovely sentiments on here that will work either with the stamp designs or with the actual um, standalone dies that are in here as well. So, let's show you which dies actually coordinate. Oh, and I actually forgot, it comes with a stencil as well. So you get a beautiful stencil that has this gorgeous snowflake pattern with very similar snowflakes to the ones that are in the stamps and the dies from the set. And there's also little stars and little round sort of snow falling on there as well. This looks really lovely done with the um, white chalk mousse. I think it's called coconut white. Coconut sorbet. Um, it looks really nice done in that. I did that on a couple of my cards in, in my sped up video. And then also you've got um, a lovely snowfall as well, which I also did with the um, coconut sorbet, but I applied it with an ink blending tool. I applied it thickly through these ones and I applied it thinly through these. Um, so this is a really nice kind of stencil for adding a subtle snowfall or for going all out and adding three dimensional um, snowfall and if you saw my glimmer paste video you'll know that they've redone the formulation of the glimmer paste and it's much easier to clean off your stencils so using your um, moonstone glimmer paste with some of these snowflakes would look really pretty as well and it shouldn't be too difficult to clean off your stencil just um, running it under warm water with an old toothbrush to scrub um, any of the detail of the stencil and it should clean off really nicely so you actually get the stencil within the stamp club too so it's a stamp set, a die set and the stencil. I almost forgot to tell you that, it's a good job I left it behind the die set. Um, so let's have a look at the coordinating dies that are in the die set. So you've got this one that cuts out the little family of snowmen, you've got this one that cuts out um, the little sledging duo on there, you've got two that cut out the solid stars as well, so again you can add them to the top of your Christmas trees or um, you do get the dies to cut out the Christmas trees but they also work nicely just by themselves which is why I said um, bringing in this stamp and die set you've got that really large tree in there and so you could just use the trees as die cut trees rather than stamped and die cut if you wanted them to coordinate more with this gigantic tree as well. So um, it's really nice to sort of mix and match your sets like that. So you have the two trees that coordinate but you can use them by themselves and I actually made a gift tag out of the largest one it looks really nice doing that then the rest of the coordinating dies is this little snowflake here has one then this little snowflake has one and yeah I think that's all of the coordinating dies that you have but I think there's quite a nice decent amount of um ones in there and again I said this one should cut out this snowflake that snowflake and that snowflake as well. Maybe not that snowflake. I think that's an eight pointed snowflake. So the two six pointed ones uh, work nicely with that little die. But you basically, the only images on the set you don't have a die for are those two snowflakes. And you can just stamp them straight in the background in that case. So I think that's really nice um, amount of coordinating dies. And they cut really nicely, as I've said. Um, in the past with the stamp clubs they actually make them so that the 
cutting edge is as close to the inside of the metal as they can make it so that when you line this up over your image you can see the entire image through it so it makes it really easy to line them up it means you haven't got to do um you know any kind of extra I think they call it a mask or is it a template extra template to recess your dye into to make sure you get it cut out perfectly they leave them open deliberately so that it's very easy for you to line up the dies over the top of your stamped image and cut them out perfectly every time which I really love actually I think this saves a lot of time because it also means that you haven't got to like die cut the shape first and then stamp on it to try and get it perfect and then you're chasing your die cut around the table as you're colouring it you can spend time on a larger piece of card colouring it in perfectly and then not have to worry um, about you accidentally like cutting it wrong you know you can perfectly line it up and get a really good cut out of it so those are all of the coordinating dies and then we still have all of these ones left that are extra dies that create um, different die cut elements that you could use in conjunction with these or you can use them um, by themselves as standalone dies to create different um, characters as well so I'm probably going to regret taking all of these dies off of here but I will show you them all so that you can see how they sort of build up somebody um, as a character so this is like the largest piece of the snowman then you've got the next one up the next one up and the next one up as well so they've actually given you a four layered snowman um, and he actually looks pretty cute um, done with all of these but I think he also looks really nice just as a three layered snowman taking the largest one off as well and you could also use these um, as you know something a little bit different too I've seen a lot of like watercolour paintings where people do these kind of rock sort of shapes on top of each other and I mean if you just got a few tones of grey or earthy coloured card you could actually do that kind of stacked rock looking technique with um, these dies as well um, and I mean, I guess you could, I don't know if you could turn it into something else a different way. Maybe you could even try cutting some of them out of the centre of the other ones as well to give some like different geode kind of looking things as well. So I think those weird wobbly, blobby snowman shapes could actually be useful in other areas as well. And maybe even if you just wanted um, to cut out a sentiment, maybe not the ones from in here because they're very long sentiments, but a smaller um, you know double or triple stacked sentiment but you just you don't want it in a in a regular shape you could cut it out in a, a slightly wonky kind of shape I think they'll be very useful dies actually the smallest one as well you do actually get this piece which fits perfectly inside there and it cuts out the mouth of the snowman I mine's still got a little bit of card left in it but I will show you that on my finished samples as well then you also have a few snowflake dies so like I was saying before you actually have the stamped snowflakes, some dies to coordinate with the stamped ones but you do also get four little snowflakes as well and I love this one because it actually has extra detail that cuts out in the middle but you'll see all of them used on um, my completely die cut cards as well. You get the arms for your snowman so they're really lovely delicate skinny arms and you've also got the option to give them mittens and you have obviously both handedness of the mittens and you also have an option to give them one second I'm just going to get a magnet I find it difficult to get the dies off there but you also have an option to give them a a mug like with a hot drink in and they have um, them both different directions as well so you can give one one and one the other and they look like they're cheersing their mugs so you've got those as well then we've also got the buttons for the snowman but you could also cut these and use them as eyes on your snowman as well or if you go for not not including the smallest blob and using like two or three of the larger blobs you could also use these to create a mouth on your snowman as well so you can really vary the size of him which is nice you've got two different scarves which again is lovely to have the variation of a couple of different scarves so one that's more sort of tied up and hanging down and then this one's more flowing off um, in the wind and both of them look really nice I've used them both on my cards then we've also got some different headwear for them as well so you've got a top hat and you also have the separate little um, band to go round there as well I think that's what that dies for I mean it could be for something else but that's what I've used it for 
Then you also have earmuffs. So you've got that die and this little die gives you earmuffs, which look very cute as well. And then you have this one that gives you a hat and you can either do it solid or you can cut the detail in. I actually used mine solid but cut two and cut the rim off of one and added it to the other so it's a two-tone coloured hat. Um, and then you have different options for the top of the hat. So you can do like a squashed pom-pom. You've got a really sort of um, spiky pom-pom. They're sort of cut off spikes but there's very... Um, pronounced in the detail and they've also got more of like um, a tatty pom-pom as well which is kind of lopsided but gives a nice sort of tatty sort of look um, which is another different effect and you do also have this one too which I guess could be used as a pom-pom but I actually used this one and this one that coordinates with one of the snowflakes I actually used those um, to make baubles on the solid tree that I had cut out so I'd cut out this tree and I used those two to make solid baubles on it so that's another way of using them then um, to complete the snowman you also have noses so you have these two noses, a slightly longer skinnier one and a shorter plumper one. And then you also have this piece which gives you those little indents to kind of, you can layer it up in two different colours of orange to give a carrot sort of nose and it matches that shorter one. So you can actually layer those two on top of each other to give a layered carrot nose which is nice. And I love that some of them are two together on the dies so it makes it a little bit easier that you're not going to lose too many tiny little dies. You also get, um, one of my favourites actually, is this little set of holly, but it is so minute. I don't think I have any holly that is this tiny. So you have the little holly leaves and there's two different sizes. And then you actually have a cluster of three little berries as well. And they look so adorable. Um, my favourite place to put them was on the hat, the top hat for the snowman. Just having them off to one side and it looks really, really sweet. Then... Uh, you also have these pieces which could be clouds but I think they're supposed to be like little um, chunks of snow that you can add at the base of your snowman to kind of ground him and I think they'd also work nicely with the stamped images as well to kind of ground them across the bottom and don't forget you can also like cut these out of glitter card or um, one of the luxury embossed card stocks to give a slightly different look than just using like a white card as well and then the last things on the die set are two presents which you can use, um, obviously that one's square, but you could use this one as portrait or landscape. And you also have the um, ribbon to go on them. So usually with Tonic's presents, and in some of those other die sets that I showed you earlier that I think would go nicely, you kind of get um, a pattern to cut in of the solid shape, or you have a stamp that coordinates with the shape. But this one, you actually get the ribbon separately, which I think is um, really nice and different, and it gives another different effect for your little presents as well. And then to finish them off, you also get a little bow. So you can put the bow at the top of the present, in the centre of the ribbon, or anywhere you like, really. And I think it does fit nicely with both of them, and works really well. So... That was a lot of little dies in this die set. I haven't actually counted them, but I'm guessing it's over 30. There's quite a lot packed into here. But they... I don't know if they... Maybe they don't look that much, seeing them all as like little dies like this. But when you actually uh, take the time to do a load of die cutting, cut all the bits and pieces out, they really do make some um, gorgeously cute snowmen. I did make mine look a little bit goofy because I added little um, googly eyes on them. But I think they do make really sweet um, little snowmen. And I think maybe if I'd used uh, this little die to give like make their little coal eyes, they might have looked a little bit less goofy. But I quite like adding googly eyes to things, so I think... I think they look alright. So I will probably spend half an hour putting these dies back on the, the, sh the magnetic sheet and then I'll be back to show you uh, the samples that I've done as well. Okay, so my first uh, two cards and a little tag are the ones that I did in my sped up video um, and I wanted to just show kind of like the sort of characters and the differences in their headwear and stuff that you can get from um, just the dies in this month's stamp club. Obviously I've used the stamps for the sentiments but the rest of everything is the dies and the stencil. So firstly the background, um, I started with a Nouveau embellishment mousse and I just used it on one of their mini ink blending tools and just swiped it across the card. And this one is the Angel Eyes colour which is a really pretty colour um, that I totally forgot I had. So um, 
I think it works perfectly for um, a lovely soft kind of sky and then to add on the snowfall I think you can kind of see it so I used the snowfall really lightly in the background again with one of those mini blending tools and then I used the snowflake part of the stencil to do um, a more 3D application on there and I was using the coconut sorbet chalk mousse which is um, the newest kind of mousse in the Nouveau range um, and so with the mini ink blending tool you kind of just mattify the embellishment mousse that's got a pearlescent finish that's underneath which looks really lovely because you can't see it at every angle but when you do catch it it kind of looks a little bit like um, a flocking kind of effect and then to sort of layer up the background I've then used it more thickly with a palette knife through the stencil um, on the snowflake side and then I've also added some die cut snowflakes as well so it gives a really like multi-layered background and I did the exact same thing on this one except because the um, well neither of the stencils are wide enough the snowfall one with the circles is much easier to kind of um, move over because I was just using the mousse thinly through it but when you go a bit thicker obviously you don't want to overlap the stencil so I made sure that the join was behind where I knew I wanted to put one of the characters so you can't really tell um, that the stencil wasn't wide enough it looks like it continues across the whole thing which is nice and again I've added in some of the snowflakes and then I've just used a load of the different um, pieces so this is a four layer snowman this is also a four layered snowman but this one is only the three layers of the snowman I've also used these little um, sort of cloud like pieces as the little snow drifts down the bottom and you can see how nicely it sort of grounds it um, this one I added a piece of white card on as well because I wanted the snowman further up and I didn't want him to be sort of floating in the sky but this one they were closer towards the bottom so I mostly just filled the area in with lots of the little um, clumps of snow and I think that looks quite nice. Then I've used the different scarves on them so this one's got the scarf going out to the side, both of these have got the scarf hanging down uh, but I've done them in different colours and then I've used the three different headwears for them as well so we've got the um, little top hat with that extra piece that goes round it and the tiny little holly. I've gone the, got the two tones of the woolly hat and I've done the pom-pom on the top and then this little one has got the earmuffs on. I do think she could maybe do with a hat as well uh, but I only had like I'd, I'd cut a few extra of the top hat and she didn't look right with the top hat so I'm thinking maybe the um Pom 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 hat would look quite nice in conjunction with the earmuffs as well if you were doing um, another version of them and actually I think you can get away with using the next size down of the body as the head if you don't use the dies that cut the mouth in and so you could probably make that work better with the earmuffs and a hat because you'd have more space to sort of spread them out it might look a little bit crowded if you tried to add a hat on the top as well but yeah, I definitely think you can sort of mix and match with them. Um, the different sizes of the heads to add the different features on there as well um, then I've used the same arms on all of them because you only get the sort of one design but you have one that's slightly more curved and one that's slightly more straight so this one I did both arms down at his sides these ones they're kind of sharing a pair of mittens because they've got one each on their opposite hands and then on these ones they are cheersing with their um, mugs of hot chocolate or coffee or something um, and I just thought that was quite sweet to sort of lay them out like that as well um, and then I've added the googly eyes on there too so they do look a little bit goofy because of the weird little googly eyes these ones they just have like a round thing inside them rather than a little disc so they end up looking a bit crazy and cross-eyed sometimes but I think they're still quite sweet with the googly eyes it adds an extra fun element to them and then also in that sped up video I did a little gift tag as well because I wanted to show how the tree die, it doesn't have to be um, cutting out the stamped image, it works quite nicely just by itself and then I've just layered out some presents down the bottom and added on the thank you and then I've used those two dies that I mentioned earlier to kind of create sort of pom-pom baubles on the tree as well and then I just punched a hole in the side of it and put some jute twine through it so I, th I think that makes quite a cute little gift tag and you could even turn a snowman into a gift tag as well, you'd have to be a little bit careful um, and maybe cut an extra piece to kind of back it to make it stronger because these are only kind of stuck together just where the circles overlap and then I put foam tape behind them but I do think you could turn the snowman into a gift tag as well although you might not want to use the arms on it or you might want to put the arms down by the side so that they're not um, too flimsy unless you like 
maybe stick three or four of them together to make them really strong that might work as well but yeah those are the ones that are in my sped up video then I obviously wanted to use the stamps because I've only just really focused on the dies there so I did this one and this is working on one of Tonic's um, craft card blanks they're A2 size um, I think they were the A2 size ones well anyway I trimmed it down to my favourite size so it doesn't really matter if you use the A2 or the A6 um, and I decided to white heat emboss so I've done I'm so glad I get to chill with you this holiday season and then I've stamped the little sledging uh, duo on there um, and heat embossed in white and then I've coloured in with coloured pencils so these are the um, are they craft perfect? No, they're Nouveau. The Nouveau coloured pencils that Tonic have brought out. These aren't the watercolour ones, they're the actual coloured pencils that just come in these two sets. They are the same colour as the watercolour pencils, they brought them out in the same set, but you can tell the difference because they are triangular instead of round barrelled. So if you had all of them together in a pot or something, um, you'd be able to tell that the normal coloured pencils are triangular barrelled and the watercolour pencils have got a round barrel and um, also they just they don't say watercolour pencils on them they say classic colour so that's how you know from the packaging as well but they have some really lovely colours in them and I really wanted to try the white pencil on craft I, did, um, I didn't like overdo the pencils I was using it quite lightly um, but I just think adding that little bit of white to it really makes them look more like snowmen and then I also drew some falling snow in the background and brought a white gel pen out to add a bit more of the snow as well and I quite like how they turned out they ended up with googly eyes as well because I was trying to colour over the heat embossed eyes because they were white, they looked a bit weird so I was trying to colour over them with black um, and it wasn't working and I kind of smudged it so I thought I oh, will stick googly eyes on and you won't be able to tell so I think they look all right with googly eyes. They just look a little bit, little bit weird with those little beady ones. But anyway, I think it makes a cute little card. And then the final one, which is my favourite because it's lots of uh, stamping and colouring, um, is this little one with the little scene. So it says, "You are so much fun." Uh, this is actually um, a double layered sentiment. I think it is. Yes, it's a double layered sentiment so I just stamped it um, and snipped them apart so that I could spread it across the card a little bit better and everything on here is die cut so even the snowflakes are die cut out and then added onto here as well. Um, everything was coloured with the Nouveau alcohol pens although I came back in on the um, snowmen and added a little bit of extra on the white areas with the um, wild mushroom coloured pencil because I think it goes really nicely with the warm grey um, marker which is, I haven't, have I got it out still? 495 the lightest warm grey colour I think that wild mushroom pencil goes really nicely it just kind of softens um, the sort of harshness of an alcohol pen when you're trying to colour in something that's white but I really love how this one turned out um, and I'm glad I kind of gave you a couple of ideas with the stamps and also with the dies as well. So I hope you enjoyed this up close video looking at stamp club number 14 which is called Hey Snow Me. Um, I hope you got a little bit of inspiration. I know I haven't done as many cards as I would usually do with a stamp club um, but I was a little bit pushed for time so I kind of went with kind of more obvious ideas but I sort of mixed in the craft card and stuff to sort of show you another idea as well so hopefully you'll have enjoyed them um, and watch out for the sped up video on these three as well and don't forget if you're interested in getting this month's stamp club there will be affiliate links to it below the video and also my blog post and I'll also link the um, showcase that I was talking about showcase number 12 and also the uh, birthday snow much fun set as well that came out just in case you're interested in them um, but you might already have them and I think this one will go really nicely with them if you're looking to kind of expand um, some extra bits and pieces to create your last few Christmas cards as well so really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one bye